true, I didn't say anything about the no confidence vote. It could easily happen. Yeah. Uh, because some people say the, 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 the numbers are there. A vote of no confidence in her this week. Mm. There is a, a real likelihood that there will be a vote of no confidence. Uh, one of the many things that could happen. Uh, there are rumours that the letters, the numbers that are required for uh, the triggering of a no confidence vote are there and waiting. And we're waiting to see what would happen to this particular vote, which now, of course, isn't going to happen. Uh, in terms of the withdrawal uh, agreement, which should have gone through the House tomorrow. Uh, now, if there is a vote of no confidence, uh, the question is, of course, whether she would win it. It is possible she would, but there is no doubt um, that a number of people have been on manoeuvres, as they say, including Boris Johnson. Uncertainty, mm -hmm. simple as that. Yeah. Again, it was a rather long answer, and I'm sorry about it. Uh, so, you so we have been in limbo land for a couple of years now and unfortunately that doesn't seem to be coming to an end. What the market generally think is that if there is no deal uh, of any sort, of course the situation in the UK economically is going to be pretty bad. Uh, we're likely to have a short-lived recession. It will be short-lived because there is no doubt that the government and the Bank of England will put loads of money into the economy again just as they did at the time of the referendum vote. But they also know the markets that even if it is not a no deal, but it is any other deal, uh, then the economy is going to be growing more slowly than would otherwise have been the case. But, but as you know, he just couldn't make up his mind before and he went one way because he thought it was good. The political deal itself, which is attached to it, leaves a lot of room for manoeuvre. Uh, of course, it could go either way. Pretty bad in terms of the type of access the UK has uh, into the EU market. Or it could go really well. Um, it could lead into possibly a Norway environment where you are in the single market, add customs union possibly, and follow kind of the regulations that are out there and also cover very significantly for the UK. The service sector, which at present in the current deal, is not covered. Where are the offices? Where did they Camden. I have to go in Camden. No, we don't have to go there. Ah, yeah. Somehow the mm. negotiation will be done and well, that will yeah. be fine now. Yeah. So what she can come back with, one wonders, but she must still think there are some formal words or there is a form of words that she can use to convince the House to vote for her deal. From everything we've heard today, in the reaction that we've seen uh, from the opposition and from various MPs that stood up and started asking questions of the Prime Minister, that doesn't look very likely. Yes.